But first, a rise in strep throat cases has some parents concerned. This comes after two children died right here in central Illinois in the past few weeks from strep throat. And our Jack Bazika has talked with health officials today about the signs and symptoms that you need to look out for. Jack, what can you tell us? Rebecca Shelby, last week, the Illinois Department of Public Health sent out a silent alert regarding group A strep. They're concerned, they're concerned about the trends that they're seeing. Here, take a look. Strep throat cases have been on the rise throughout the country after a seven-year-old boy from Bloomington and a four-year-old girl from Peoria recently died from the illness. Officials are advising parents and caregivers to be on the lookout for any symptoms of strep throat. This is a pretty serious um, infection that's um, prevalent right now. But what are the symptoms? How can you tell the difference between a sore throat and strep throat? Dr. Christine Ray, a pediatric doctor at OSF Healthcare, explains exactly what you should be looking out for. The classic symptoms of strep throat are going to be fever, sore throat, and headache. She says symptoms in kids also include stomach aches or rashes on the torso. Viral symptoms like congestion, coughing, or running noses are usually signs of the cold or flu and not strep throat. Not just at my practice, but all around town, the state, the country have seen a huge increase in the number of strep cases. This morning alone, I think I had four positive strep cases, which that's a lot. Strep throat is highly contagious and passed through droplets. The Illinois Department of Public Health advises to wash your hands, cover your mouth when coughing or sneezing, and not to share drinks. Peoria County Coroner Jamie Harwood advises parents to pay attention to their kids' behavior and to seek medical help if they see symptoms. And it can progress rather fast. Um, or it can take its time. It's very, very sad and unfortunate that this was the outcome from something so aggressive as, as strep A can be. If anyone in your house has recently been diagnosed with strep throat, please be sure to wash your cups and cutlery. And Dr. Ray even suggests getting new toothbrushes if, you're, if you share a bathroom with someone recently diagnosed. Shelby.